بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 015 grammar unit 2 listen to the present continuous tense the learning objectives dear students by the end of this lesson you will be able to form the present continuous tense in yes no questions and wh questions recognize the use of the present continuous tense recognize the use of non continuous verbs in the present continuous tense The present continuous tense, yes, no questions. Begin your yes, no question with am, with the personal pronoun I. So, start your question with am, I, and then complete your question. Example. Am I studying now? Notice here, we start with the verb am, because the subject here is I. Am I studying now? The answer Yes, you are, or no, you're not. Begin your yes, no question with is, with the person pronouns he, she, it, or with the singular form of nouns. So here we start with is, then the subject could, could be he, she, or it. Then complete your question. Examples. Is he talking on the phone? Notice here we start with is because the subject here is he. Is he talking on the phone? The answer, yes he is or no he's not. Another example. Is she cooking the dinner? Notice here we start with is again because the subject is she. Is she cooking the dinner? The answer, yes she is or no she's not. Another example. Is it raining outside? Again, we start with is because the subject here is it. Is it raining outside? The answer, yes it is or no it's not. Begin your yes no question with are with the personal pronouns you, we, they or the plural form of nouns. So here we start the question with are plus either you, we, or they then complete your question examples are you coming with us so here we start with the verb are because the subject is you are you coming with us the answer yes i am or no i am not another example are we leaving now again we start with are because the subject here is we are we leaving now the answer yes you are or no you're not Another example, are they studying at the library? Again, we start with are because the subject here is they. Are they studying at the library? Yes, they are or no, they are not. So, start your question with the verb either am or is or are plus the subject plus the subject. After that, complete your question, okay? The subject could be pronoun, okay? It could be a pronoun, I, you, we, he, she, it, or it could be a noun, or it could be a noun, like Ali, Ahmed, Huda, students, cars, etc. The present continuous tense, WH questions. Begin your WH question with a question word like what, where, when, who, why, how, what time, etc. Then use the same word order as in yes, no question. By the same word order, we mean start with the verb, the, followed by the subject. So, in WH question, start with the question word, WH word, plus the verb, could be am or is or are plus the subject after that complete your question now the subject could be a pronoun it could be a pronoun or it could be a noun a pronoun it could be I you we 
they, he, she, it, or a noun, or a noun, like Ali, Huda, students. Now let's see some examples. What are you doing at the moment? Notice here the question starts with the WH word followed by the verb. After that we have the subject. Then complete your question. What are you doing at the moment? The answer, I'm trying to fix my computer. It's not working properly. Another example. Why is your friend leaving the party so early? Again, notice here that the question starts with a question word. Then we have the verb. After that, we have the subject. Then complete your question. Why is your friend leaving the party so early? The answer is because he's not feeling well. So start the WH question with a question word plus the helping verb am, is, or are, plus the subject. After that, complete your question. The present continuous tense, the use. Use the present continuous tense for something happening now, now, or at the moment, at the moment. Okay, so if the action is happening right now, at the time speaking, we have to use the present continuous tense. Examples. Hassan isn't studying, he is sleeping. Look at the picture here. Hassan is not studying right now. He is sleeping. Now he is sleeping. So the action is happening right now. Another example. My little sister is reading. Look at the picture here. She is reading now. The action is happening right now. My little sister is reading. The kids are playing in the park. Look at the picture here. What are the kids doing? They are playing. Now, they are playing in the park. So the action is happening right now. So, we use the present continuous tense for something happening now, at the time of speaking. Non-continuous verbs. Some verbs are not used in the present continuous tense, even when they describe a situation that is happening right now. These verbs are called non-continuous verbs. They describe a situation that exists, not an action in progress. So, the following verbs are not used in the present continuous tense. Why? Because they describe a situation. They describe a situation, not an action in progress. Some common non-continuous verbs. So, these verbs okay are not used in the present continuous tense these verbs are be like love hate no need believe forget want remember hear see smell taste feel own belong prefer coast understand seem sound notice appear contain have when it means own, think when it means believe. So these verbs are not used in the present continuous tense. Let's take a look at the examples. I want a pen. This verb here, the verb want, is an uncontinuous verb. So this verb cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So this sentence is incorrect. Why? Because here it is used in the present continuous and this is wrong okay this verb cannot be used in the present continuous tense another example john knows the answer again the verb know here is an uncontinuous verb so this verb cannot be used in the present continuous tense so again this sentence is incorrect okay it's wrong to say is knowing okay another example this watch belongs to me. Again, the verb belongs is also an uncontinuous verb. It cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So this sentence is incorrect. It is wrong to say is belonging. Another example, the soup tastes delicious. 
this verb here, the verb taste, is a non-continuous verb. It cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So this sentence here is incorrect. Another example. How much does this coat cost? Again, the verb cost is a non-continuous verb. It cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So the sentence here okay, is incorrect. This verb cannot be used in the present continuous. Another example, they don't remember you now. The verb remember is an uncontinuous verb. It cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So this verb cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So this sentence is incorrect. Incorrect. This verb cannot be used in the present continuous tense. So remember that non-continuous verbs are not used in the present continuous tense. Thank you for listening.